it's me, Rama, and this is a tutorial on how to make a movable UMG window that can have any content you want with click and drag feature. First thing we're going to do is make a new widget blueprint. This is going to be a movable window. And then we need another one. We'll duplicate that. That's going to be a window content, right? And now we're going to make an actual, again, let's just duplicate it. This is going to be our um, sample just our actual usage. Now sample is going to be our actual content so for now I'm just going to stick a, let's do a scroll so I'm going to take a, stick a scroll box in here I want an image just to make it obvious that I'm using a complex uh, user widget so we're going to use a color I don't, I just want to use a color so we're going to do red and 0.2 Actually, let's make it, actually, that's fine. So we're going to take that here, going to do this. Now, let's see. I want to do something with this scroll box. So the scroll box needs to be higher as the order. And we're going to make this a variable with our scroll. Now, what are we going to do with this? Let's see. So let's get our scroll in here. Going to add child. And we're going to say uh, create. Oh, I know what to do. So I'm going to make a. I'm going to make this a very clear example of the fact that I'm uh, using a very complex type. So I'm going to make a new. This is going to be scroll item, right? And inside of scroll item, I'm going to make a button. Actually, I'm going to make a text text box. No, not that one. Text. This one. Text block. Wrap it with a button. And the button. I'm going to turn the button. I'm just kind of making this up on the spot. <laughs> Let's do this. Alright. And this. Yellow. Kind of yellow. Alright. So that is going to be our basic unit. Right. And we'll make this text uh, actually a variable and we'll say text we're going to bring this to the origin now just we're almost there so that's our just random scroll item now in sample we're going to in begin play make a for loop and we're gonna say between zero and a thousand and we're going to create a widget create widget and that's going to be the new widget we just made, scroll item. A scroll item, we're going to get the text, the text widget, and then we're going to set the text to be the index that we're currently at. Right? And that's, and then we're going to add that, this new widget that we created, create the scroll widget, we're now going to add that content to our scroll. So we added, we we're creating a thousand scroll items. <laughs> All right, so that's our that's our sample. Now that's going to be in there. Let's also get a title in here, and this is going to be <laughs> this is the title. I can type. Okay, so that's our title. So we have this obviously complex widget here. And uh, the only thing I would recommend is that the content be positioned at the origin. So let's move this to the origin. No, don't do it. All right, good. And we're going to say 5, 5, maybe more like 10. All right, whatever. And now we're going to take this here, and this is going to go down by 50, maybe 40. Yeah, 40 was definitely right. Okay, take this one down. This is 50. Okay, so that is, so the content should be positioned at the origin. And it, this is where it gets game specific, right? And now, let's go over to our movable window. Let's start actually making stuff. The very most important first step, if you were just skipping through the video, got to pay attention now. Most important first step, you got to make an additional canvas panel below the main one. So this is going to be our, we're going to just drag it in, make it a child of that, and call, make sure it's a variable. 
and this is going to be body, right? This is the actual thing. Now that body can be positioned anywhere you want, so I'm just going to stick it right here. Right, this body, this is the most important thing. It's a canvas panel within a canvas panel to get the kind of relative offsets that we need. So, we're going to make a new custom event, and this is going to be called set drag, or start drag, start drag. Right, and that is going to have an input of actually nothing. I don't need an input here, but we need a variable, so is dragging, right, and we need tick, which is right here, and if we are dragging, hold down the B key left click to get one of those, we're going, if it's true that we're dragging, then we're going to get the cursor position, cursor scale DPI, so get the mouse position scaled by the DPI, and we're going to get our body, and we're going to set, no, it's not, it. we're going to get it, and we're going to make it as a canvas panel, canvas slot, and then we're going to set its position, set position, split the struct pin here, and then put that in, and that is how, this is the most basic version, I'm going to show you the fancier version in a second, but that's basically, if we're dragging, it's going to move the inner canvas, the body canvas, the body inner canvas to that position. So we're going to start dragging. This is again the most basic version, most basic setup. We also need a player controller blueprint. So let's make a new blueprint class, player controller. And let's make sure our game mode is using it. I don't think we have a game mode either. Oh, we do. It's in here somewhere. Third person game mode, move it here. All right. And we're going to use player controller PCVP, not for the spectator, I do that every time, we're going to do that for this one, see, player controller class, okay, so now, in our player controller class, when we press key event Q, we're going to create widget, and the widget is going to be our movable window, because this is how you create a generic, because the idea is to be able to use any inner content that you want. So let's go over to our UMG and in movable window we need an initialization function. So we're going to call this joy init because that's what I like to call it. Now our base type needs to be window content. So here window content but it's going to be a class because we're going to create the actual instance internally. So this is going to be a uh, widget, uh, this is going to be window content, right? Now we're going to use that to create a widget, and then that is all at the moment. Oh, except we need to now take, so remember, body is a canvas. See, a canvas is this movable thing, so that means that we can add a child to it directly. So we're going to add this directly. So we made the inner content from its class, and now we added it to the child, right? Now, this sample is currently deriving a user widget. It actually needs to be window content, because window content is going to have special features that we're going to want to have in the future, and plus we can't add it to the movable window unless it's defined as window content by class. So that's the proper class structure to set that up. So now I'm going to run that join it function and I'm going to select the content which is in fact our sample. Right? Again, it, this won't even show up in this list unless it's a window content, so it really also makes the list very concise. Okay, so now we need to add this thing to our viewport our new make, because this, the window itself is the main thing. So we're going to go here. Alright, now, to make it immediately do something interesting, I'm going to temporarily set is dragging to true by default until we're ready to finish. So now, go in game, and something's not right. What happened to our critter? Let's go look at our project settings, maps and modes, the default game mode got removed. 
I think because we moved it and it lost the address. <laughs>